It doesn't matter if a lithium ion battery is in an electric vehicle, an e-mobility device, an e-bike, a scooter, but if that battery fails, does the state of charge matter? Now to understand what's going on with a lithium ion battery, you have to basically understand basic physics. If I take this battery cell right here, I hold it up above my head, it's got potential energy. And the higher it goes, the more energy it has. Until I let go, and there's the kinetic energy, and that could be the failure. Yes, science! Now in that case, I'm not talking about energy storage inside the battery. I was purely talking about moving that battery around in space, letting it fall, gravity acting on it. But when you charge a battery, you're adding energy or adding potential energy inside of that battery. Now to get into state of charge and to really show a practical demonstration of what's going on, I've got this two liter bottled rocket launcher. A very neat apparatus here. You can see I can put pressure into the device, charge up these bottles and launch them high up into the sky. But for this demonstration, I'm gonna talk about state of charge and how that kind of equates to air pressure inside this apparatus. Now, if you look at this right here, I can charge this system up to 20%, 20 PSI. And when I release the bottle, it's not really impressive. It just kind of pops off, not a lot happens. However, if I charge this apparatus all the way up to 100 PSI, or 100% if we're talking in batteries here, I release the bottle, it's gonna launch all the way up to the sky and it's, it's a really impressive type situation. The same goes for batteries. If you have a battery, you've got this lithium ion battery, no matter what style it is, when they're not fully charged, they don't fail quite as energetically. In fact, UL Fire Safety and Research did a study and found out that from 75% to 100% state of charge within the battery, they fail very spectacularly, uh, very energetically, and it's a very consistent failure between those percentages. But once you start dropping below 75%, the energy level, the energy released when those battery cells fail is reduced as well. In fact, if you start getting down closer to 30, 20%, instead of this very energetic reaction, now you're just releasing some flammable gases and it's not as spectacular, it's not as devastating of a reaction. In fact, when you start looking at shipping standards, for example, or, or people who have to transport these batteries, the recommendation is, the standard is, that batteries need to be shipped at less than 30% state of charge. And if you watch this video here, you'll see the point proven. I've got a battery that's getting a nail penetration test. As that nail inserts into that battery at 100% state of charge, you see a very energetic explosion. But on the flip side, if we move to this battery test right here, same battery, same construction, uh, the only difference in this test is this battery is now at a lower state of charge. You can see as this nail penetrates the battery, the reaction isn't quite as energetic. A little bit of sparks, but nothing like the initial failure when you're at 100% state of charge. And now here's the video side by side, so you get a really good comparison of what's going on as these two batteries fail at different state of charges. Hopefully that answered some questions on state of charge and how important it is for the failure on those batteries, how energetic that failure could be. In fact, it's a great question to ask if you're doing a 360, if you're sizing up an electric vehicle that's been involved in such in some type of crash, or maybe that vehicle is already on fire, ask the occupant, ask the owner of the vehicle, the driver of the vehicle, what was the state of charge of that vehicle? Were you right up at the 100% mark, 80%, or were you all the way down near 10 to 20% on that vehicle? And that should give you a good indication on how that vehicle is gonna fail, if that vehicle fails, or how long that fire or the incident may last after the failure. If you got something out of this video, please hit the like button below, subscribe to my channel, and if you have any questions or something's not really clear on this topic, feel free to comment below.